Okay, now that we have connected everything to the breadboard and Arduino and upload this catch, we are not gonna now we're gonna uh, do the HMI and we open the application in the Android. So okay, and we select Bluetooth. Um this is gonna be the name of my Bluetooth model. Okay, it's connected. So we're gonna um, add a widget. So the first widget is gonna be the push button for the for the um, turn off engine. So we're gonna use the variable. Uh, the variable is gonna be the B for the turn off, capital B. I'm gonna show you here. Turn off engine, capital B. Okay. And the color we're gonna select is gonna be the red, and we're gonna say off. Okay, and here it is. Now we're gonna do the same for the turn on bottom. Okay, now. Uh, we're gonna add a widget, uh, a switch, switch widget for the um, lights. Open here. Um, this is gonna be. I think it's gonna be the C, C capital C. Um, jello. I'm gonna say lights. Lights. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, add a widget for the um, intensity of the of the lights. So we're gonna select the um, slide bar, and uh, we use the variable d. There is an input, so we can show you here. For example, for example, attach in in light intensity D. Okay, the tag is gonna be lights. Uh, the minimum value is zero. The maximum is gonna be two hundred fifty-five, and we're gonna apply this mask. Okay, because when I use zero to one hundred, okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna add the um, fuel level. We're gonna use the bar indicator. Uh, okay, what variable is gonna is gonna be there? Is gonna be there. Um, fuel level B. Okay, we select B. Uh, green. So we're gonna put fuel. Fuel. Zero. And one thousand twenty-three. Use the mask. Okay. The next widget is going to be uh, display seven segments uh, for the for the water temperature. So the one. Okay. So for the water is the letter C, and we're gonna select the color blue. Because the water of the water, and uh, let's see. Water temperature. We tap OK. We're gonna uh, do the same for the um, engine engine revolutions.
Now we're gonna add the LED for uh, the doors. So uh, the, the size of this widget are gonna be the normal size. Gonna... Here. And the pins are four to seven. Let me show you here. Okay, and so the one, four, five, six, and seven as an input pin. Okay. So this this one is gonna be four. Um, right and door one. Okay. And we do the same to the other doors. The last widget we're going to add is going to be um, the engine status. We're gonna, so it's going to be engine and this is going to be the pin number 3. Let's see. Flight engine pin and an engine pin is going to be the number two. So engine is the pin number two. And we're going to select the red green color. Okay. And we're going to save this HMI. So we're going to call it car. Let's say okay. Okay, and now we're gonna do the connection between the Arduino and the tablet. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it works. So now we only have to tap here in the play button. And we have some uh, information here from the water temperature. This is the potentiometer for this variable. And uh, RPM is this potentiometer. This is a uh, trimmer for the um, fuel. Uh, I'm using for um, dip switch for the doors. And uh, two LEDs, one for the engine status and other for the lights. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn on the engine. And the engine is on. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. And okay, I can change the value here. Okay. Okay. So I can turn off the engine. Um can turn on the lights Okay, and the doors. Okay, I'm gonna open the door for number one, and number two, and three, and three. And um, okay, I'm gonna turn the light door one, the four, the three, and the two. Okay. Again, okay. And uh, this is the trimmer for the fuel, so I'm gonna change 
dead value. Okay. And the last one is is going to be this uh, the water temperature. So, uh, if the temperature is going to get over 300 the engine is gonna stop so let's turn on the engine and okay so this is an example of how to use the HMI uh, controller application for the Arduino thank you